Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today I have a smartphone accessory to look at. It is a phone screen magnifier. This particular one is a 12 inch display, so 12 inch diagonal there. And it comes from the brand Hype. Now, so if you're not familiar with how these work, the real short of it is you have a stand where you place your smartphone there in the back, and then you put this uh, lens in front and the lens acts like a magnifying glass and it blows up the screen so in effect now you're looking at a 12 inch screen as opposed to your I don't know, 6 inch screen so on the smartphone alright so now there are quite a few of these so when I say that there's a lot of these what I mean is if you shop online first we'll say phone screen magnifier or whatever um, you're gonna end up pulling up a lot of um, matches and it seems to be quite a range and you'll have some that are very very cheap and all they will be they'll comprise of usually some kind of bracket it might just be a plastic stick so just imagine that being this pen here and then it'll have two slots cut in it there'll be a slot in the back and a slot in, up towards the front and as you may have guessed the slot in the back you'll just stick your smartphone and then the slot in the front will be where you put the, the magnifying lens and that's it so it does seem to have quite a range on this on these type of things and I picked this one because I thought the stand mechanism was pretty interesting so let's get back to the what the reviews on alright so let's take a look around the package here so phone screen magnifier we've seen that real big it tells you what it is hype the brand up there and then here since I don't believe this is the mascot or whatnot um, for the hype um, company um, I guess this is just a representation of something you might be doing on your smartphone Alright, now down here we see it can go up to 3x magnification. Um, there we have this 12 inch diagonal screen, portable folding design. We can kind of see that there, um, how that seems to fold. And then there it is, it's for all smartphones. Okay, now flipping around to the back. Um, that's the same as on the front, but then here we have a picture of what the item actually looks like without the simulation screen, um, spaceman, whatever. And there we go, so it looks like this rolls back in segments and becomes the stand and I thought that was interesting hence why I picked this one up alright but here we go here's we're talking about the screen 3x zoom and then okay you can kinda of see how it folds up there that's pretty slick actually and then okay so some of the um, bullet points they want to convey to you okay Alright, overall impressions of the packaging, I must say it's effective. I, I mean, I picked this thing up. I have no plans of buying something like this at the time, but I still picked it up. And the reason I think I did is because just looking at this, you immediately know what it does. I mean, phone screen magnifier, I mean, it's probably the biggest text they could put on there. And then the picture is the whole front of the box. You immediately know what it does and basically how it works. So, and then ironically, the name Hype is one of the most under hyped things on the box. It's way up here in real small text, relatively dark text on a black box. At a distance beyond a foot or so, you're not even going to be able to see the brand name. So I guess this is a case where they let the item speak for itself and apparently worked, at least enough for me to pick it up. So let's get into it and do the unboxing. All right, so as far as uh, securing it, they just had two of these little circle stickers, which I've peeled back already. So I'll open the top. All right. Okay. And then here is the lens. Oh, okay. So it looks like the lens is actually attached to this flap here in the front. far as keeping it to stand up, let's see, I'll do it this way, how's that work? Oh, okay, so then on this front, there's this little thing here, and you fold this, and put that in that groove, yeah, so there you go, 
Alright, so as far as the phone, or um, yeah, we'll rest up against that. Oh, and then here's a groove. You can see that here. See that groove right there? That V. So I'm that's most likely where you're supposed to put the phone, so it doesn't uh, so it catches in there and doesn't um, slip down and fall flat. So I guess you're supposed to roll this all the way to the back position, and then slot your phone there, and then lock that like so. And I guess that's all there's to it. So I'll just fold it back down. And there you are. So this is how you carry it for travel. It doesn't, yeah, as you can see, it does taper here because obviously there's more material up front. So it's not quite perfectly flat, but I guess flat enough to put inside your, like, um, I don't know, laptop case or whatever. If, okay. Or maybe like a carry on luggage or whatnot. Now, as far as the material goes, Um, yeah, I would say, like, if you've had any of that really, really cheap furniture and, like, maybe a drawer or something, and it would have this kind of as being the sides of the drawer, right? So, yeah, it kind of feels like that. And this here actually, um, does have some texture. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but you can see it kind of has, um, a furry feel to it. So, and then this here is smooth but slightly textured, but I mean, for what it is, it's not too bad. All right, so let's go try it out. All right, so from that clip, you can see that it does, in fact, magnify the screen. And if you're thinking, eh, well, that didn't look all that great. I don't think I'm going to bother getting this whole thing just for what I saw. Let me tell you, in person, it looks way better. Um, I think the reason is the fo it doesn't come up so well on camera is the camera's having a kind of a trick time uh, just focusing through that polycarb lens and then back to the screen on the phone. And then when I flip this up versus down, I'm talking about the lens there. The camera has to refocus and recalculate the distance and all that. So also, and it's in a dark room on top of it. So just know in person it looks way better. All right, so talking to that, um, this is the phone I used. This is the LG V20. This has a 5.7 inch screen. So, and this is the phone I've been using with the whole time I've been testing slash using this. And I can tell you, the combination of those two, the 5.7 inch screen and this, I was able to uh, feel this polycarb lens, which again is a 12 inch diagonal, I was able to feel about 80% of that up. That's essentially the um, magnification you're gonna get if you use this phone or a phone similar in size to this at the distance placed between this lens and the resting point. Okay, now I wanted to say, um, oh yeah, about as far as what the screen looks like, again, it didn't come up very well, what you saw. There is a minor distortion kind of drew a picture here so this would be what your screen looks like um, once it's gone through the magnifier you kind of get this artifact where it kind of gets these horns where it kind of looks like the screen kind of bends upwards a little after watching it for about even like 30 seconds you just your mind kind of cancels that out and it just looks like a normal screen and if you're used to looking like at a gaming monitor which is kind of curved anyway this won't bother you or at least it didn't bother me and I don't think it'll bother you either so uh, one as far as ergonomics now we know the screen it blows up the screen right so it makes for easier viewing reduces eye strain and I can confirm that that I believe that to be true uh, it's just it's easier to look at a bigger screen right but uh, beyond that, I also noticed there's an ergonomic benefit, and I'll kind of explain that real quick. So when you um, set this up, what I found you can do is, well, let's just, you, okay, so I'll leave the phone out just for simplicity here. Okay, so you would go ahead, of course, set your phone back there. And what I found out you can do is you can, like, if you're sitting in a chair, like maybe on one of those long trip buses or airplane, of course, what you can do is you can go ahead, put your phone in there, 
put this like um, kind of like on your stomach or on the lower part of your chest so then as you're sitting in the chair of course so then this will be like just below your chest or on your stomach and then this will be like basically sitting in your lap and because you have this nice um, <laughs> roll here what you can do is you can just keep your hand like a real neutral kind of position such as this and hold um, this and of course the other side as well and then tip your head just looking down like you're kind of falling asleep you know how your head kind of droops forward like that so it ends up being like a really kind of neutral position and very comfortable and then one other thing uh, about living with this I also found that you can kind of use this as a kind of like a little organization mat yeah so it's a uh, kind of fancy you can kind of leave it out and of course you can also use this as like if you need to like uh, something to write on real quick flip it over and you can kind of use this like uh, a clipboard so all right so before we get to the conclusion i just like to go over a quick disclaimer and that's regarding my use of this item to say that i've only used this for about as long as it took to make this review and during that time, I've been basically babying this. So, you know, just something simple as opening it up. You know, I'm doing it at a nice controlled rate. Rolling it forward. I'm not just ripping this back and forth. I'm not dropping it. You can see how there's still sharp points at the edges. And before I put it down, I'm making sure I'm not putting it on a table with, you know, ketchup smeared on it or whatever so if you baby it like that it seems to hold up pretty well but if you're going to use this more like an everyday or close to everyday item and treat it accordingly like most people would treat it i can't tell you how well it's going to hold up okay with that out of the way let's get to the conclusion and that's to say uh would i recommend this well that's easy yes i considering i only paid ten dollars for this um before tax this is not only done the job it promised, but it actually exceeded my expectations. And you know, I also think that this whole, this becomes the stand. Um, I think that's really clever. So I like that. So, yep, I would recommend it. And um, actually, you know, I almost was kind of thinking that maybe they could even make like a pro version of this. So, you know, upgrading the materials and whatnot. And I think that they, that would sell. I know I'd buy that. But for right now, this is working.